Hi Leo, welcome to your spirit guide messages for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, how to book a personal reading, all my social media links, uh, the decks I'm using. There's tons of information down there. So please, please go, do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. And thank you to everybody for all your support, whether you're a new subscriber, whether you've tipped or donated to the channel as an energy exchange is greatly, greatly appreciated. And those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. Really does mean a lot to me. I couldn't do without you guys. So thank you for all the support and helping with the channel's growth and being a part of that and getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Leo, let's see what your spirit guide messages are, what you need to know at this time from spirit. Leo, for November, this doesn't necessarily just have to be for November. This could be from whenever you see this till whenever. I do consider all my readings timeless. They're just dated to um, put them in order, basically, so people know when the last reading was. So that's the only reason why I do put a date on them. Okay, so let's see what we have for Leo from Spirit. We're going to pull three oracle cards from each deck here. And then we'll pull some tarot to clarify a little bit the messages. So I'm going to pull all cards first. So you can skip ahead if you'd like to. All right, so can we have three cards for Leo Spirit, please? What does Leo need to know at this time? What are the spirit messages for Leo? What does Leo need to know at this time, spirit, please? Thank you so much for doing that one. Okay, let's get three from this deck. I like to pull all the cameras on, uh, all the cameras, oh my God, all the cards on camera so you can actually see the cards I'm pulling. I don't go through the deck and say, okay, I'm going to pick this, 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 and this. No, I pull it all as spirit wants me to pull. So usually flyers, or if it sticks in my hand a certain funny way, then I know that's your message. Oh, okay, so let's see that one. What other ones? That one. We have one more for Leo. One more message for Leo, please, spirit. What does Leo need to know? this time. All right, let's get three from this deck. Spirit messages for Leo. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall. Happy November. Okay, Leo. Leo, can you believe we're in November already? I just can't believe it. After I do this series of spirit messages for all the signs, I'll be starting the December readings already. I can't believe that, so I'm going to change my setup here. I'm going to decorate for, well, sort of like Christmas winter theme. I'm like, oh, I can't believe that already. So, <laughs> all right. So, take that one. What messages do we have for Leo? What are the spirit messages for Leo? What does Leo wow, need to know at this time? Way too many, way too many. How many do we have here? Well, we got two here, so I'm going to take those. All right. So let's see what spirit has for you, Leo. All right. So we have choice, assertiveness, empowerment, authenticity, personal boundaries, 16, which is seven. And seven is always a very spiritual divine number. Um, I'm not an expert on um, numerology, but you can Google that number or um, look up that angel number seven, personal boundaries. So it may be time in November or whenever you see this to uh, make certain choices, to be assertive, to feel your empowerment, to step into your Leo power, be authentic to you, who you are, and it may be time to set some boundaries with some people around you in some way, shape or form. You know, if you've been letting people walk all over you, if you've just been giving in to everybody, if you've been just uh, not really standing up for yourself, just kind of like, you know, letting people walk all over you, it's time here to be assertive and set those personal boundaries and be authentic to who you are. Don't give in to peer pressure or anything like that just to fit in, just to um, 
have people like you. Um, it's time to just be authentic to yourself and be assertive and don't let just people walk all over you is what I'm getting with that. Okay, so let's see. Money. Wow. Finances, power, generosity, abundance. So 14, 5 is change. So there may be a change in your money flow, in your finances. You may be um, getting a raise. You may be getting a promotion. Um, maybe feeling very abundant, some sort of abundance may be coming into you uh, in November or whenever you see this in generosity. So you may be feeling very giving to others, maybe donating to charity, helping friends and family in need if you have some extra money, and maybe giving back to those who have helped you at one time also, because you see the two fish here. So kind of like, they're kind of like going, like following each other. So that's like the flow circle of life, of money. So if there's people that have helped you, helped you out in the past, it may be time to give back. But I do see uh, things going in a better direction for you money-wise in the month of November or whenever you see this. So some sort of abundance or something coming into you. Or if you have a business or you're starting a new business, things may pick up. Okay, so we have divine consciousness here, interconnection, expansion, oneness, and light. 40, 49 here, which is 13, which is 4. 4 is a very stable um, number. It's about foundation and ba the basis. So you may be um, connecting more to source here. You may be feeling more divinely connected to your spirituality, your faith, trusting your gut and your intuition and your higher knowing. And really connecting to that and connecting to source and feeling that divine energy around you like really connecting to that and trusting that you know expanding that and becoming one and also light you know my motto here with my channel is to shine your light so shining your light outward to others positiveness a happiness um, encouragement expansion and that kind of energy so it's a good energy and purple here is all about manifestation also so manifesting here also, I feel. All right, so what else do we have for you, Leo? We have happily ever after. So I feel like uh, if there's something you've been waiting on here uh, and you're not sure how it's going to go, Spirit wants you to know that there will be a happily ever after in whatever your situation is. If you're waiting to hear about a job, if you're waiting on money, or if you're waiting on a relationship, or if you wait, whatever here, if things aren't looking good for you right now and you're wondering what is going to happen, Spirit wants you to know it may not be in the month of November. It could be a year from now. It could be six months from now. It could be tomorrow. But there will be a happily ever after in your situation. Positive expectations. So here it's telling you to remain positive, to be um, have faith, hope, optimism, and keep your expectations positive don't get in a negative mindset um, don't be pessimistic just you know in purple again with the manifestation so if you're manifest manifesting something right now you will have a ha happily ever after and if it is about money or something like that or starting a new business or getting trying to go for a promotion a raise I think it will come to you if you kind of like say okay I'm giving it up to the universe I'm ready for this is what I tell a lot of people and just give it up to the universe trust that it will come and it'll come to you because you do have happily ever after here and staying in that high vibration positive um, energy and kick up your heels so you know go out have some fun spend time with friends and family um, go out dancing go to concerts go have some fun whatever you Whatever you haven't been doing that you find happiness and joy in or whatever you have a good time doing, if you haven't done that in a long time, I think it's time for you to get out, have some fun, enjoy yourself. And stop worrying about all the other stuff because once you get in that high vibration, enjoy life, enjoy yourself, things come to you. The universe sees you're ready, you're in that high vibration and it'll send you the blessings that you're waiting on. All right, so what else do we have here? We have King of Ariel. Successful, stable, accomplished, powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success using resources wisely. And this goes right along with the money here. So I feel like if you're 
not sure, you know, if you are waiting on, um, like I said, a promotion, a job, money, uh, your career moving forward, a new business moving forward. The king of Ariel here is the king of pentacles, is someone who's very stable, secure, and grounded. They make their money. They don't have to worry. They're smart, analytical. They're very practical. They make wise choices. They take their time in moving forward. They, you know, the very um, detail-oriented. So they make wise plans. They move very slowly. They make everything, make sure everything is secure. It's stable moving forward. They just don't rush in. Pentacles are very slow energy. So it may be a very slow moving process or maybe it has been. But spirit wants you to know you're moving into that king or queen, doesn't matter, energy of being in on top of your game is what I'm getting. So just have patience. Okay, we got this upside down. Okay, I'm not doing reversals with this. Okay, so we have eight of Raphael. There is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you. A spiritual quest, and that could go here with the divine consciousness. You know, the, this is the eight of cups energy. So this is an energy of walking away from something no longer fulfilling for you. Like you could be turning your back on something here and walking to something else, someone waiting for you. Uh, more fulfilling. So some of you may be walking away from something that is no longer fulfilling for you. Again, it could be a job, a relationship. It could be a home. It could be anything here. But I feel like you see something, you see something in the distance here that is better for you. So you're in the, pro some of you may be in the process of leaving something behind. Our spirit wants you to know if you've been thinking about that. It may be the right choice for you to move from one thing no longer serving you and that whatever you see in the distance, it's better suited for you. If you're following your gut and your intuition and you're like, you know, I think that's better for me, but I'm not sure. Spirit wants you to know that it is whatever that is for you. And now we have the seven of Gabriel. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. So this is telling it's fire energy. And that's you, Leo. Fire energy. This is standing up for what you believe in. Not backing down. Being strong, courageous, and brave. Setting those boundaries right here. Personal boundaries. Setting those boundaries. And holding a stance. And not backing down. So, yeah, a lot of messages here. So, you know, not backing down, standing up for what you believe in, setting those personal boundaries. You may have to block people that are not serving you, and that could be this energy here of blocking and walking away from people that are no longer serving you. If they're dragging you down, dragging down dragging down your energy, um, that may be what you need to do here. But in other aspects, well, again, I'm, I'm getting heavily, like, business, money, um, a new job, a raise, promotion, whatever it is here, I think it will come to you. You just have to remain positive and exude that positive energy, and it will come to you because you do have happily ever after. But in the meantime, get out and have some fun and show the world that you're ready for this positive um, thing that's coming into your life here that you're trying to manifest with this purple here. All right, so let's clarify some of these messages for you, Leo. Let's clarify some of these messages for Leo. Some of these messages. Really pay attention to your, um, your gut, your intuition, with the divine consciousness there. Um, my cards just fell. Yeah, try to be more connected to, you know, source, if you can. Meditate. Um, oh, oh, there's another card on the floor. Meditate. And it doesn't mean you have to sit there with your legs crossed and, um, you know, and that sort of energy. But you can just sit, relax, listen to music, take a bath, just sit, relax, and just kind of connect with yourself. Source. You get messages that come to you, random thoughts. Pay attention to that. You know, when I first started doing this, I thought, you know, it was just crap I was making up in my head until I realized, you know, I do have the gift of connecting to source, divine energy, spirits. I do have spirit guides. I do have angels around me. So pay attention to that. All right. So let's see. Let's clarify personal boundaries. What is that about? For Leo... Just want to make sure my cards aren't in reverse. 
the Queen of Swords. Exactly. Wow. So the Queen of Swords, this is air energy here. This is a queen. It's not a page. It's not a knight. This is a queen. This is somebody, king or queen, doesn't matter. Stands in their power. Tells it like it is. Has clear cut communication. Cuts out things no longer serving them. Serves them. Stands out for themselves with a lot of clarity and depth. So, yeah. And sometimes they can be a little cold with their energy, so be mindful of that. But, yep, yeah, so personal boundaries here. Whatever you feel, whatever truths you feel you need to express to whoever, you need to do that. If you haven't express, haven't been expressing yourself, if you haven't been truthful to yourself and those around you, like I said, like letting people walk all over you in some way, shape, or form. It could be about money. It could be about... Uh, just being overburdened and doing everything for everybody and not saying a word, you know, whatever here, it's time to stand up in your power with that queen of swords. Swords are all about mind, clarity, truth, communication, cutting away things no longer serving you with the sword energy. So I think you may need to start getting in that energy. Spirit wants you to know it's time to start thinking with truth and clarity and realizing the situations of things that are no longer serving you. And it's time to cut away things no longer serving you. Stand up for yourself. Tell it like it is. Don't back down. Don't let people walk all over you. Kind of energy. So that's a strong message. So <laughs> just telling you like it is. Like spirits tell me to tell you. So a little bit of tough love there. So let's see. Let's clarify. Let's clarify happily ever after. Wow. Okay, this one flew out first. Let's see what we have here. So we have the Eight of Swords. So this is mental entrapment, mental entrapment, mental blockages of your own doing, being caught up in your own mind, having doubts, fears, uh, negative thoughts, just uh, mental. So, so if you're caught up in this mental of entrapment of, you know, this happily ever after is never going to come. You know, this isn't going to work out for me. It's not working right now. It's not going to work. Like those negative thoughts, like going around in circles and being trapped in your own head. It's time to release all that energy. And because Spirit wants you to know that it may take time because you've got the King of Ariel here. It may take time, patience, just to be patient and keep going, keep working. Because success will come. Your happily ever after will come. And it's time to release yourself of this Eight of Swords of being stuck in your own mental entrapment. All right, so let's clarify the King of Ariel. What is that about? The Queen of Wands. So we got the Queen of Wands and the King of Pentacles. So it can be male, female, doesn't matter. But the Queen of Wands can be an entrepreneur, a business owner, uh, somebody who is very creative, has a lot of big ideas, go, goes after what they want, with a lot of drive, ambition, and passion. This is a go-getter kind of energy they don't back down they got that fiery energy they go after what they want again with that passion drive ambition so this is going after what you want a lot of drive ambition passion but knowing that even though you're working hard at it you're very passionate about it you're going and you're going and you're going and you're not seeing the results you want to see i mean this fire energy i know i'm a fire sign sometimes you want things very quickly happen very quickly you want to, to succeed very quickly and it doesn't come as fast as you want it to but with the king ariel it's telling you it's like two different energies fire is fast moving pentacles are very slow so it's telling you you know keep moving keep going keep fighting on it's just going to take time and patience so not to give up whatever you're striving for all right so let's see what this money is about i see i see abundance coming in some way you could be giving back to others. You could be um, getting that raise, that promotion, that new job. Your career could take off. Fives are all about change. And I just noticed there's a five on the bill here. So things will be changing for you money-wise. Prince of Swords. So this is, and I think it's going to happen very quickly. This is the Prince of Swords. This is an energy of moving very, very quickly, moving forward quickly but this can be a reckless energy so don't be reckless if you get this sudden influx influx of money and abundance don't be reckless with your money don't spend it foolishly um because this can be a, a kind of a foolish reckless energy with the prince of swords and it's a very fast paced moving energy so i feel like 
this abundance will come quickly. I don't know if you're expecting it or it's unexpected, but it's telling you as quickly as it comes in, don't be foolish with this abundance, you know. Don't do anything reckless and foolish with it. Okay, so what is this positive expectations about? What is this positive expectations about the Five of Swords? So, you know, again, this is the energy of the Five of Swords of being kind of, um, it's kind of a selfish energy. It's an energy of getting ahead by all means. You don't care how you do it. You don't care who you do it to. It's just kind of a ego, selfish, getting ahead and you don't care kind of energy. So to me is a negative energy because it's all about ego and pride and getting ahead at all costs no matter what. So I think with the positive expectations here, if you're not seeing that again, because you do have the happily, ha happily ever after being, but being stuck in your head. And this also over here, over here of getting ahead by all means and just being very selfish, but spirit wants you to know not to get in that energy to remain positive. Don't do anything foolish. Don't do anything ego driven or negative or be in that negative mindset. Just keep in a positive energy, high vibration, and this happily ever after will come. All right. So what else? What is this? What are we walking away from with this eight of Raphael here or Leo? The lover. So you could be walking away from a, um, a lover. And you could be walking to another lover. This is soulmate energy here. So you could be leaving one soulmate for another soulmate. You could be, um, or even just like coming in contact with a, maybe a new friend. You know, maybe you're leaving old friends behind that are no longer serving you. And you're making new friends. It could be friends, family, lover. But the lovers here is about soulmate lovers. So I feel some of you could be leaving or if you want the process of leaving or you think you, you know, you think you want to leave somebody that's no longer serving you and it's been ongoing. I mean, it could be for eight years, eight months, for a long time. And you're de debating whether or not you should do that. I think Spirit wants you to know that you probably should because there's somebody better out there for you. With uh, the Eight of Raphael here. There's somebody, and if it's, and if it's nobody for you right now if there's nobody waiting in the wings for you right now but you're just debating whether or not to leave a situation that's no longer serving you spirit wants you to know you should because down the road even if it's a year two years from now there is a divine soulmate here coming into your future all right so let's see what's this divine consciousness about what's this divine consciousness about for leo so we got the Princess of Swords here. So this is the Page of Swords. So and that's about communication and that's about clarity, truth. I mean, you could be doing online research about spirituality, faith, how to connect. Uh, you could be watching YouTube videos, how to connect with your faith, spirituality, uh, your spirit guides, your angels, and that sort of energy, connecting with divine energy. And if that's what you're doing, spirits want you to know you're on the right path here by doing this research, looking into this energy. Um, and this is also communication. So if you feel you're getting, you're receiving communication from divine, you are, because that's the energy of communication right there. So that's what I feel with that. Okay, so... All right, so what does this kick up your heels about... For Leo, oh, I just want one. Let's take this one. So we have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is an energy of holding back, kind of being on your own, not really doing anything, being kind of stagnant and uh, holding back and just kind of on your own. So yeah, Spirit wants you to know it's time to get out of that energy of just kind of being a recluse on your own, holding back and not really doing much of anything. It's time to get out and kick your heels and have some fun. Kick up your heels. You know, the Four of Pentacles is about stability. Um, also, foundation. Monetary. Maybe feel like, no, I can't go out and do this or that. I don't have the money, resources, or whatever. But you can find some way to go out and still have fun. 
go visit a friend at their home, a family member, or something like that. We can still have some fun. So seven of Gabriel here, ace of pentacles. So this is a brand new beginning, divinely guided. Could be business, money, that promotion, that new job, um, a new business here. Whatever here, this is the brand new beginning that's divinely guided for you. So, and this is building on a firm foundation. It's um, a wise investment for the future. Growth abundance. So standing up with the seven of Gabriel here, standing up for what you believe in here, this new beginning that you're manifesting for yourself in career, monetary, whatever here. Just know spirit wants you to know to keep defending that, keep moving forward with that, standing up for yourself in that new beginning because it's divinely guided for you here with the Ace of Pentacles and not to give up and stand up for that. All right, so before we see what's on the bottom of the deck, I'd just like to see a little bit on the bottom, see what's going on. Uh, Leo, if you do like my style, how I read, you like my messages, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. You'll receive four readings a month. I do a spirit guide messages, what you need to know at this time. For singles, I have a singles reading who's coming towards you. Uh, for those who have a connection with somebody, I do a love connection reading uh, between you and another person. And I also do a general tarot forecast for the month which is sort of like just a general uh reading so if you're interested in all that please do subscribe hit the bell you won't miss out and if you do thank you thank you so let's see what's on the bottom here so now we have the ten of swords so this is an ending painful hurtful ending so yeah i feel some of you here could be ending a relationship you could be ending a career a job or something that's no longer serving you even friendships people places things money relationships Ten of Swords, ending something no longer serving you. Five of Cups, yeah, lonely, uh, hurt, sadness, and loss. So, you know, people may feel this energy because you're cutting them out or whatever, but it's, if it's for your better good, Spirit wants you to know that's the right thing to do. You know, the Four of Cups energy here is feeling kind of complacent, blah. Um, it's my blah card. It's just blah, like not happy, not sad. It's just like, eh kind of energy and you know a little bit of confusion here choices options and again the seven here again seven of wands of um so we got seven of wands twice we have it here and we have it here so standing up for what you believe in holding a stance fighting for it not giving up and not backing down so that's a big message here so we've got the Queen of Cups under that. So being totally aligned and at peace with yourself, with those around you, the choices you've made, having self-love and a loving, compassionate energy. And again, with the Ten of Wands, laying down burdens over here, personal boundaries, laying down burdens, ending burdens that are no longer serving you. May cause conflict with the Five of Wands, but that's just the way it has to be. Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love. So I do feel like some of you over here could be leaving a soulmate relationship that's no longer serving you, and it's been ongoing for a very, very long time. But the lovers and the Ace of Cups, Spirit wants you to know there is a very much divinely guided love coming in for you in the future. It may not be tomorrow, may not be this year, next year, it could be a few years down the road, but there is your divine soulmate coming into you in the future in a very passionate new beginning. So you got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, passion, love, stability, all coming in and reuniting possibly with someone from your past that you haven't seen a long time ago for a long time that could leave you know to your wish fulfillment here of all these aces but i do see um you do, do need to um get in this energy of the queen of swords kind of energy also okay i hope this resonated for you leo uh, good luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.